Starfield just keeps making headlines, and I don't think they're what Bethesda wanted to see for a game they spent so long working on, but here we are. We all know by this point that Starfield is a stinker. It is hands down, without a shadow of a doubt, the most boring, disappointing game Bethesda has ever made. And it seems that that's resonating with a lot of players as the numbers of players have plummeted drastically since launch. This game has only been out for a few months and Bethesda's first new IP in over 20 years and it's already dead. Starfield peaked at 330,000 concurrent players on Steam on about August 31st. However, that's when early access started. The concurrent player count has gradually declined ever since. It's now at a 24-hour peak of 22,152 players, right below Elder Scrolls, the you know Skyrim Special Edition. Even that's got higher at 23,000 players. And every time this is brought up, the developers just give weak-ass responses like, well, a lot of fast travel has its perks since you always have a visual of your ship launching and landing so you can see your cool ship customizations. Is this a joke? He's praising the customization of loading screens. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Now, a lot of people will still defend this game, and I honestly, I'm not sure why. It doesn't even come close to the quality of previous Bethesda games, and I'll explain why to you. Nobody likes procedurally generated content at this scale. Something like Minecraft can get away with it, but not an open world RPG of this caliber. A lot of players, even the most die-hards who have hundreds of hours in this game, feel that Starfield doesn't offer that same Bethesda magic of exploration, that feeling of picking a direction and traveling forth, discovering a side quest, a random event, a dungeon, or something unique that's just simply missing here. It's just straight up, you know, missing good handcrafted content, which is what makes these games shine. They just need to go back to handcrafted content. Procedural generation just won't excite players and make them want to explore. You have to give them reasons to. Witcher 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, Skyrim, all the best open worlds are mostly handcrafted with great environmental storytelling and interesting things to find. Starfield has literally none of that. It has loading screens and running to objectives that take minutes to get to with nothing interesting in between. Just empty, lifeless planets. And that's not even going into the other negatives this game has, like not being able to fully loot bodies, can't dive underwater, NPCs don't have a schedule or, a, you know, a routine anymore, simulating that they have lives outside of, like, you walking around. Player home storage weight has box limitations. Can't tell your followers to, like, lockpick or open anything. Literal copy-paste dungeons. No goddamn city map. And I could keep going, but you get my point. All they needed to do was... How the hell did this game take 10 years to make? I, what were they doing this whole time? All they needed to do was essentially make Fallout in space with cool aliens and shit. This could have been like a first-person Mass Effect game or something badass, but no, we got this boring slop. And the sad thing is the game still probably sold really well, even with it being on Game Pass. And Bethesda is just going to ride that until the, they release mod support. And once again, have the fans make a better game for them instead of setting out to do it themselves. The last seven or so years has completely opened my eyes to what Bethesda is as a studio now. I know a lot of people reached this conclusion before me. I'm just sorry it took me this long to figure it out.